One person's trash is often another's treasure. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 coolest items brought in on Pawn Stars. There you go, there goes the rope. Oh, it's a convertible now. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the most unique and impressive items brought in on the hit TV show Pawn Stars. It doesn't matter whether or not a sale was made on these items, just so long as the item was cool enough to start up a conversation. Right behind all the cops, the helicopters. Amazing. It was very surreal. Number 10, BMW of Death. We start our list off with something a little morbid. In the 15th season of Pawn Stars, Rick and Chumley go to visit a Las Vegas car dealership called Celebrity Cars to look at a special doomed set of wheels. The current question is the BMW in which rapper Tupac Shakur and Death Row Records head Suge Knight were driving when they were attacked on September 7, 1996. Shakur died as a result of the multiple gunshot wounds he sustained during the incident. The BMW, on the other hand, has been cleaned and fixed up over the years, going through multiple dealers and auction sites, and has been listed by the dealer Moments in Time for $1.5 million. I mean, the best I can figure is it's going to go between $200,000 or $1 million in an auction, and it sort of depends on the auction. So a lot more than I'm willing to pay for it, but uh, I really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you very much. Number nine, Einstein's equations. Sometimes Rick makes a deal, and sometimes he doesn't. This is one of those times when he simply couldn't, but that doesn't make this item any less cool. A customer walks in with a set of mathematical equations reportedly scribbled down by none other than Albert Einstein. Is it signed by him? Oh, well, it's just math that he did. I did some research. To actually have his math was one of the rarest things that you can get. The Pawn Stars crew are excited, but obviously skeptical, so they bring in an expert to authenticate the piece. It turns out that the equations are actually legit, but valued at far less than the $18,000 asked by the customer. I give you three grand for it. I mean, that's like the most money that makes sense to me. Rick offers up three grand for the $5,000 piece, but his offer is rejected, and Einstein's equations walk back out through the door. Number eight, presidential smokes. The next item on our list is something a bit special, presidential swag. The season seven episode, Close But No Cigar, featured a customer who operated a private museum and was looking for some quick cash. He brought in a used humidor or a cigar box that was previously owned by former US President John F. Kennedy, complete with some vintage, unsmoked cigars still inside. Haggling between the pair shifted back and forth between the customer's 95,000 asking price and Rick's 50 grand with the final agreed upon price landing in between at a cool $60,000. Got it, man. All right, meet you right over there and we'll do some paperwork. Okay. Not bad money for a bad habit. Number seven, undersea funds. Coin collecting is a hobby that dates back centuries and still captures the imaginations of many around the globe. One such collector walked into Rick's shop with a very rare piece, a 1906 coin which belonged to John W. Gill, one of the deceased passengers from the doomed ship Titanic. I have museum trained experts out here making sure that these relics are preserved and cataloged properly. The customer had a firm figure in mind before he even walked through the doors, $125,000. Unfortunately for him, Rick's expert pointed out that similar coins had only sold in the three dollars to $4,000 mark, a price drop for which this coin collector was unwilling to abide. Um, I mean, if it sold like a year ago for $21, there's no way of justifying $125. The coin was then listed on eBay for just under $100,000. Number six, mysterious money. The DB Cooper 727 hijacking is one of the most infamous unsolved mysteries of all time. So when a customer walks into Rick Harrison's shop with a tiny piece of an original $20 bill stolen during the heist, it's a one of a kind offer the pawnbroker just can't let slip away. God, it's just a weird market. This is one of those things you just can't look up in a book. How about 1500 bucks? The customer had already authenticated the money fragment with the PCGS currency grading service. So it's just up to him, Rick, and the old man to agree on a price. The owner doesn't seem to want to budge on his numbers, but eventually lets the bill go for 1600 bucks, making Rick the proud new owner of a small piece of history. Of all my years of doing this, I've never seen anything like this in the shop, ever. Number five, the Book of Mormon. Oftentimes, Rick's customers try to get one over on the shop when it comes to price. Adam, who brings in a fifth edition of the Book of Mormon, is not one of those customers. The book was actually among the last to be printed during Mormon founder Joseph Smith's lifetime and is appraised by book expert Rebecca Romney at $40,000. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I always like you, but today you're particularly wonderful. There we go. You're the best. Adam's original asking price was only $25,000. And to his credit, he doesn't try and go any higher. Instead, he actually knocks a grand off the price, since Rick had given him an extra thousand for a previous transaction. Isn't it great when we can all get along? Number four, Robosaurus. 
Have you ever wanted to drive a real-life Transformer? Well, apparently, inventor Doug Malawicki did, or else he wouldn't have created Robosaurus, a 48-foot-long semi-truck that can transform into a gigantic, fire-breathing T-Rex. The creation has made appearances in multiple media over the years, but Robosaurus was actually offered up to the boys at Gold and Silver Pawn Shop for a cool million bucks. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Did he just use the M word? Although a deal wasn't struck, this still has to be one of the most visually impressive and memorable items to ever appear on the show. Number 3. John Hancock's John Hancock Sure, a uh, John Hancock is accepted slang for a signature today, but what happens when someone brings in a signed document from the actual John Hancock? This first season episode of Pawn Stars dealt with exactly that unique scenario, when a customer brought in a framed document dating back to the 1700s, which is supposed to contain the actual signature of founding father John Hancock. You have to look at the paper that it's written on. That's absolutely critical that it's the correct paper of the period and correctly manufactured. Rick calls in an expert to authenticate the piece, and the results are positive. This is the real deal. This is absolutely consistent with it being authentic and correct. Unfortunately, Rick and the customer couldn't reach a deal of their own, and the piece walked out the door. Number two, the white Bronco. We already mentioned Tupac's BMW, and our next pick is another infamous vehicle from an equally infamous murder case. The ride in question is the white Bronco from the O.J. Simpson case. The 1992 Ford Bronco belonged to Simpson's friend Al Cowlings and was used in O.J.'s low-speed chase, which captured the attention of a nation. You know, it's that weird bit of pop history. The shop was offered the Bronco by former Simpson agent Mike Gilbert with an asking price of over a million dollars. Um, yeah, think about it. It's a one of a kind. Rick was unsure as to the resale value of the piece, and he refused, leaving the Bronco to ride away slowly for another day. Number one, dinosaur eggs. We top our list with perhaps one of the most deflating price drops in Pawn Stars history, for one of the coolest items, no less. A customer walked in the shop with a pair of fossilized dinosaur eggs with the hopes of cashing in her big dreams to the tune of $20,000. Because there are actually tens of thousands of these eggs on the international market today. Unfortunately, after Corey Big Hoss Harrison calls in an expert to price the prehistoric eggs, actual market value of the eggs is only placed at a few hundred dollars each. Still, Hoss offers up 500 bucks after a bit of haggling, and the ancient fossils become a part of Gold and Silver Pawn Shop's extensive inventory. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.